Hey guys, Uncommon Ramen here. Uh, today, in lieu of the fact that uh, Tiny Epic Zombies is going to be coming out soon, I wanted to take a look at Tiny Epic Quest, um, because this is the first time, if I remember correctly, um, that you do see the item meeples um, that, that are also featured in uh, Tiny Epic Zombie. Plus, this game just looks really interesting to me. I wasn't really... Um, a big fan of the uh, other Tiny Epic games in the series, um, maybe just because I wasn't really uh, into the theme. Uh, I heard that uh, Tiny Epic Western was a really great game, but I wasn't really into like Western-esque type of types of games, so it didn't really strike me as far as like theme is concerned. Um, I did like uh, Tiny Epic Kingdoms, I think it was the very first one. Um, but I'm also not a huge fan of area control games, so that was kind of... It's it's a good once in a while, but for me it wasn't really my favorite uh, game. So, and, and, and Tiny Epic... Um, I can't remember what the space one was called. Space is like right up my alley, but uh, I just really never got into it. So this is the first one that I've picked up, if you don't consider that I backed uh, Tiny Epic Zombies. So I really just wanted to take a look at what's inside. It's a very small box, um, and the contents list is huge, so it should be interesting. There's artwork on the inside of the box. Dice Grotto. Huh. wonder what that's for. Really beautiful artwork, though. That's amazing. Got a rule book. Another contents page, I think, uh, kind of gives you a better idea of what's in here. They have an item rack. That is so cool. It's the little things. It's the little things. Looks like this game is pretty big. <clears throat> I like this set. Look, there's lots of uh, great colors and pictorial depictions. Very excited about that. It's a big rule book, though. I'll have to go through this. It seems intimidating, but without actually having any knowledge of how this game is played, I, I won't know. Okay, that's the rule book. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff in here. Um, this is not a Kickstarter version. I don't know if the Kickstarter version came with a bunch more stuff. Um, I know that they usually do exclusives, especially with the uh, Tiny Epic Zombie. We get a whole bunch of really neat exclusives. Um, so I'm sure there was some exclusives for this. Uh, I didn't really care, um, like I said. Uh, Tiny Epic Quest was not really something that was on my radar. Um, I d I'm not a huge fan of the theme. I'm not really into the whole fantasy thing. But uh, I did want to pick it up for the, the item meeples and to kind of show off what's in here. Plus the art on this is amazing. And, um, you know, I'm sure I'll, I'll enjoy the game. Quickly take all the contents out of here. Another set of box art there, which I think is really great. That's pretty cool. Oh, there it is. Tiny Epic Galaxies. If this game ends up being pretty good, then I'm, I may just end up going up and going out and picking up Tiny Epic Galaxies. It's just, it wasn't I don't know what it is about the Tiny Epics that I, I, at first I just wasn't sold. So we'll see. Like if this ends up being a really good game, then I'll probably end up going out and checking out the other ones. So we got some dice here. Um, these ones are engraved. Um, so we're not looking at, you know, printed on symbols, which some people do still. I'm sure you've played, uh, Star Wars Destiny. 
Uh, very colorful. Uh, the dice themselves have a grayish metallic look to them as opposed to white. So that's pretty neat. We got some tokens here. Um, looks like these are all wooden, um, but they're just the detail that they went to on these tokens is so cool. You know, cutting them into butterfly shapes and you know the mushroom shape, even the elf head. We got these little triforce looking guys that are clearly not triforces, but some hearts. These are really cool. Uh, of course we have the item meeples. Go ahead and pull one of these guys out so we can play around with it. So the thing about the item meeple that makes it special is that it's got these two slots here. Get my camera to focus. Um, where it can hold um, items, obviously. And so... That is pretty cool. Go ahead and take a look at these items here. They give you a whole bunch in here. And like I said, I'm sure that if we were Kickstarter backers, we would have gotten a whole slew of other items that were Kickstarter exclusives. But let's just go ahead and take out a couple of these items and see what they look like on our little item meeple. Your guy can be left-handed or right-handed. It doesn't really matter. There you go. Now we have our sword and board item meeple. And I just, I thought that was such a cool idea. Um, some people think it's stupid, and I mean, to each their own. Um, I think it adds a level uh, to the game. Gives you something uh, visual to kind of look at and, and enjoy. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it is what it is. I, I like it, I like the idea. Um, but that's how the item meeples work. And, and there's just a ton of items in here. Um, kind of go over them really quickly. We got a bomb. Or at least that's what I assume it is. That's what it looks like. We got this weird little jug thing that I assume is like a potion of some sort. So that's pretty cool. Uh, a boomerang, which I thought was really neat too. I'm trying to show you these without like my big fat fingers in the way but not much I can do about that we got a shovel here so the staff the sword and I think they said the shield um, count as legendary items I think um, I'm not really positive what this is it looks like a key the lion's head a book. Uh, I guess this is a lantern. Um, some sort of hooked staff thing. Some sort of gem. Got ourselves the obligatory bow. Fife. And this guy right here. Little butterfly thing. I have no idea what it is. Those are just the little items that come with it. Like I said, if you kickstarted, I'm sure you got more. Um, I didn't pay too much attention to the uh, Kickstarter for uh, Tiny Epic Quest. Um, Whereas I did with uh, Tiny Epic Zombie, obviously. And I know that with Tiny Epic Zombie, there are uh, quite a few just Kickstarter exclusives that come with those of us, for those of us who got the, uh, who, who backed it and uh, got the special edition. I, I, it might come with, I think it only comes with special edition. I'm not completely sure, but um, pretty, pretty sure it comes with just the special edition. Um, so I'm gonna, Set that guy up right there. So next we have 
actually don't know what this is. So we'll just go ahead and take a look at it. Got a whole bunch of cards here. I'm assuming this is what creates the, the map. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it looks like these cards are what they use to um, create the different parts of the map. Oh, it's double-sided too. Okay, man. That's pretty cool. Oh, I guess is one for nighttime? Ah, that's weird. I don't know. Each of these has a little different thing down here. Oh no. Pretty cool. I love the artwork. I'm I'm really in love with the the way that they did this um art. Okay, so these must be the player boards. And I, my assumption is that these are all the same. Oh, they're not. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. That's pretty cool. So these are the player boards. And like I said, these are all double-sided, it looks like. So let's look at the other side. And then I think these are just a bunch of the... That's cool. I think one side's daytime, one side's nighttime. At least that's what I have to assume. Knowing almost nothing about this game. So we got cards too. Take a look at those. See if I can't find a way to open this. Hey, that was easy. Pretty sure these are the movement cards. Um, I'm, I'm sure that... I, well, I, I say I'm sure, but I'm not actually sure. I think everybody gets... I was going to say, I think everybody gets one of these, but I'm starting to think that's not true. Quests. Yeah, without throwing misinformation out there, I actually don't know. Um, these are items. Complete the... Huh. Well, again, without actually throwing out misinformation there, I'm not exactly sure um, how all of this works. Um, We'll assume that their backings are different. Yeah, okay, so uh, these ones look like they go to every character, one to each. And then, yeah, I don't know what, I don't, there's only one of each of these, so. Not 100% sure how these work. But those are the cards. And then earlier when I was pulling them out, you could see that I had all these tokens. Um, the little, uh, Hexagons here are goblins. So those are the, I, I want to say the, the main damage dealers. And then of course we have the uh, item rack, which I thought was really interesting. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that's it. That's all that's in there. Um, which, I mean, is indicative of a tiny epic game where they have, you know, a whole lot of content, but not, not a huge amount of... Uh, space being taken up the the f very first game that they ever uh did was very much like that where um they they made a area control game where it could literally fit in your well i, I it could fit in your pocket if you had a big enough pocket but it was it, it was a very small game is the point and um it was an area control game which was really interesting and it was actually uh, a pretty challenging game um like I said, wasn't not a huge fan of area control, so it's kind of like I I like playing that once in a while, but um, you know I like sticking with other types of games. Uh, this game looks very interesting. I do like uh, questing games, pick up and drop off type games. 
Um, so this this should be interesting. Plus the idea of having the unique weapons and and you know your little item meeple just gives it extra flavor, in my opinion. Um, but everyone's gonna be different. Uh, some people just don't care for these item meeples, and you know, teach their own. Uh, I just really wanted to show what the item meeple looks like, and I'm sure there's other videos like this, but you know, take a look at what's inside. Um, you should expect, uh, as far as the item meeples are concerned, about the same thing when you when when you uh, get tiny epic zombies. Um, Except, obviously, they're going to be, like, shotguns and chainsaws and whatnot. But, I, you know, I'm, I, I'm really excited for that game, so I thought, you know, let's take a look at this. And I'm this looks exciting. This looks like a fun game. I, I actually am, uh, can't wait to get this on the table with my friends just to see what it's like. And, like I said, if I end up liking it, I'll probably go out and pick up uh, Tiny Epic Galaxies. Just simply because, like I said, space is, is my theme. I really love space themes, so... Um, that's Tiny Epic uh, Quest. Um, you know, uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, every subscription gets me that much closer to an official URL. Um, feel free to drop me any comments. Uh, I love hearing from you guys. Maybe I missed something. Maybe you uh, just have something to say. Um, but yeah, until next time, guys. Peace.